say you're going to have food at a conference or food at your session or whatever you're doing, you know, that most agencies say no now, but if you're really going to do it, you got to put it in your proposal, specific, specifically delineate it out that I want food, I'm having food and I'm putting it in the budget. Then you're going to go ahead and charge it in your accounting system and call it food. And then when you do the reporting of it at the end, you're going to call it food. <laughs> but where you get yourself into trouble is if in the budget justification, you don't have food listed anywhere, okay? You have it maybe in the narrative, somebody put it in, you know, you might get to that point, but then when you go to charge it, you might charge it as food in a food category because your accounting system, for the most part, will make you do that. But then you get all the way down to the reporting of it and then somebody kind of says, you know, I really don't want it laid out, it's call it food. Can you put it in other category or something? This is what the accounting standards are all about, okay? Cost accounting standards are all about, one, we had to do a disclosure statement to say what our cost accounting policies were, but these kind of things come through with it, and the consistency in reporting says, I have to do those three things. If I'm gonna have food, I gotta put it in, not only in the write-up of the scope of work, but I gotta put it in a budget justification and call it out specifically. I gotta list it there individually. Then when I'm charging it, I have to put it in a expenditure type, object code, whatever your accounting system has it as, I'm gonna call it food, and then when you go to report it, you gotta be reporting it in a category that they can see clearly that it's food. So if they wanna yank it out, they know what they're looking for and know how to pull it out.